Elegu is dropping the bomb on me, baby. They're going into outer space once again for their newest planetary exploration, the Jupiter. Let's talk about it. Elegu is coming out with the Jupiter, their largest resin printer to date, and they're doing it via Kickstarter to some mixed responses by people. But I don't want to get into that too soon. Let's actually dive into the meat and potatoes of this thing because this printer is kind of crazy. It is a 6K monochrome LCD 3D printer with a build volume of about 278 by 156 by 300 millimeters. In contrast, the Elegu Saturn is 192 by 120 by 200. This thing is bigger in every single axis. Which is, well, if you like printing a lot of small parts or a few big ones, uh... Amazing. And at $1,300 retail price, this thing is bound to, well, stir the pot. Elgu has a very, very good reputation of kind of stirring things up a bit, especially with their Chi2 box updates and everything where they are trying to really undo a lot of the damage Chi2 Systems has done to these Chi2 boards that a lot of these printers utilize. If you're looking for that, we'll card to the playlist right there so you can get an idea of what's going on right now. But this is another way for them to just keep flexing their muscles as a resin 3D printer powerhouse. There are very few other manufacturers out there offering machines at this size. We have something potentially coming from Anycubic, but it is a DLP 3D printer. Of course, that one is also being launched on Kickstarter. Let me know if you guys want me to cover that. I'd like to, but I think for that one, I kind of need to have one in hand because they are being very quiet about the specs, whereas Elegoo is just putting it all on the table for you right here in front. But we have maybe an offering or two from Piopoli, and I think Frozen has their Mega 8K that are all in the same build volume size, but nobody is getting close to Elegu on the price. Let's take a look at some of their competition right now. We take a look at the Frozen Sonic Mega 8K, and recently they dropped the price from $1599 to $1449, putting it square in the sights of Elegu, this thing is only $150 more, but offers considerably larger print volume of 330 by 185 by 400 millimeters. But the key here is Frozen is 100% reliant on the Chi2 boards, whereas Elegu kind of has the money. If they wanted to develop their own, they could. And well, I don't know about you guys, Frozen being very quiet about this whole situation, not speaking up like some of the other manufacturers, when realistically, Chi2 Systems has them, you know, by the you-know-what, is a little rough on me. But if you are looking for two, that's a ridiculously good deal, and that absolutely beats out the Elegu Jupiter all day long. So make your decisions wisely there. Now, Frozen has a track record of producing absolutely amazing machines years ago. Their quality has changed. Now, I will be curious to try to get my hands on one of these to see, but I will say from the beginning, the fact that it opens up with doors is a big reason why I would actually go with this printer. Uh, now, we do have some pictures of the Jupiter itself, and it does appear to have a door, but this is very clearly a rendering of the Jupiter and not the final product. And as Elegu has shown in the past, the renderings that they provide to us are a facsimile of what may or may not come out. Now, if we look at the Phenom by Piopoli, that's a 276 by 155 by 400, which is much more in line, like literally identical build volumes. And you're looking at $2,000 for the Phenom. Now, of course, it is sold out, but Piopoli has some other machines. Now, there you go, another 276 by 156 by 400, but it is $2,800. So, yes, there are options on the market. Are they going to hold up? Only time will tell. One thing that I'm going to predict ahead of time, though, is 
the pricing. Now we see that Elegoo is choosing to go to Kickstarter and we're going to again get to that in just a minute, but they're saying that the retail street price of this is going to be right at about $1,300. And my guess here is that it's probably going to find itself somewhere in the $1,000 MSRP price bracket because Elegoo has a tendency to release things at a higher price and then slowly cut them down as their competition tries to beat them by price. Because what does Elegoo have that their competition just doesn't? That's right, economies of scale. They also don't have my segue to our sponsor, 3D Musketeers. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna to continue to self-sponsor these episodes until we can get companies like Elegoo, Frozen, or Piopoli to, well, help us in producing these things. If you wanna get your ideas out of your head and into your hands with full art part, rapid prototyping, and product development, you could reach out to us, 3D Musketeers. Links will be in the description down below. I really do believe that Elegoo's gonna find their price point to be about a thousand realistically. However, if you're willing to put some money up front for, again, no promise. Kickstarter is not a platform where you are pre-ordering something. It is a way to help businesses launch a product or, you know, startups launch a product. The early birds will get it for 600 US dollars. Now, I'm certainly no expert in understanding cost to build something, but I'm guessing at $600, Elegoo ain't making a dime, and quite frankly, this is likely a loss leader printer for them. My guess is at the 740 US dollar, that's where they're getting close to breaking even. Otherwise, I don't see why they went with 740 instead of 750. Couldn't tell you, or 749. Elegoo makes some odd pricing decisions that I'll never understand. We can see based on the price points though, that they're looking to spend about $60 on a resin tank for the Jupiter, and that's always been a concern with these larger resin printers are the cost of the tanks, the cost of the screens. FEP has come down heavily in price, so we don't have to worry about that too much. But when you look at these consumables, they can add up very, very quickly. To give you guys an idea, if we utilize Piopoli as a baseline for what consumables will cost, we see that the Phenom Prime LCD panel is $450. That's a lot for a screen. Now, will Elegoo charge that much? Probably not. I would guess Elegoo's going to be quite a bit more affordable than that because they kind of have this system of being one of the more affordable players on the market. Some would say cheap, but I think Elegoo cuts corners in a way that doesn't immediately hurt people. But I want to review the Neptune 2 to verify because the Mars, the Mars 2 Pro, Saturn's, those are all fine, as long as you understand that resin is toxic and you understand the basic protocols required for it. Of course, we covered a lot of those in a video. We'll link to it right in a card. But consumables are always that concern. We can see that we don't have too much idea of when this thing is going to come out full. Right, and in talking on some of the forums, we found that a lot of people are saying this thing is fake until proven real. And why is Elegoo going to Kickstarter? Kickstarter is a company that is designed to help startups launch a product, not a very well-rooted brand basically take pre-orders. It's actually against Kickstarter's terms of service to do a pre-order system similar to what could be going on. Now, we're not going to be pointing any fingers because realistically, that's not my freaking job, but it seems as though the industry's already made up their mind. Let's take a look at some of the things that we've seen from reviewers out there. We see that some of their comments are kind of full of, well, hate. We're starting off with Thomas Sandletterer, someone that is well-respected in this industry, where he called out any cubic uh, about two weeks ago for using Kickstarter, and he's doing the exact same thing here. And he followed it up with a gem of a tweet saying, next week, I'll be reviewing a new printer and accessory combo from an upcoming hardware startup. Stay tuned. For those of you that don't know what you're looking at, that is an Elegoo Mars 3. He's being cheeky. And we can see, you know, some other people in here, uh, you know, having some fun. I don't know why Elegoo 
chose to do it this way. But unfortunately, the industry is not taking it very well. And when you consider a lot of the drama going on right now with Chi2 Box and Chi2 Systems, this is a pretty tough release for Elegu, and I would bet their marketing department is trying to find any way that they can to create hype and get away from some of this bad press. I ultimately believe that this Jupiter is going to be an amazing machine that, assuming it ends up in the $1,000 price bracket, is going to move some waves. If it stays at the $1,300 price point, I, you know, the Frozen Sonic Mega 8K does appear that it might be a better value if you're looking for a bigger printer, but I want to get these two side by side and understand the differences between them before I really declare a winner because ultimately it's not just about print volume, it's about the materials that go into making it. And if I look at the Frozen, I don't see a lot of support for that Z axis. Now they're using doors so they might have it all bolted to the main frame. But when you're talking about a printer with that large of a build plate, the peel forces add up very quickly, something that Elegu is going to have to deal with for this Jupiter. Now, we don't have much more about it yet. And as soon as we have more information, we'll make sure to update you guys. But I'm going to be working with Elegu to try to get one of these machines as early as possible so we can put it up against some of the other rivals in this industry. So, well, we can see if it's worth your hard earned dollar dues. Now, I want to know down in those comments, how do you feel about this printer? Let's ignore the Kickstarter campaign for the first half of your comment. How do you feel about this printer? And then I want you to tell me how you feel about it, knowing the fact that it's going on Kickstarter. Now, we don't have a release date yet. We don't know when it's going to be coming out on Kickstarter. So all of this could change. We might take advantage of it, but I have made a pretty hard stance before of not really supporting 3D printer Kickstarters because a lot of them don't understand economies of scale. Now, Elegoo does clearly understand economies of scale. They've had many successful launches of 3D printers, but it does kind of go against the terms of service for Kickstarter. So it is kind of an odd thing. Now, caveat, we do have a beta test coming very soon from the Tiny Belt guys, and it is their brand new 3D printer. That thing is going to be released on Kickstarter, but Tiny Belt is not a multi-million or even multi-billion dollar 3D printing company, so that is much more in line with what Kickstarters want. And if you want to learn more about that, I actually had an interview with the owner of Tiny Belt. We'll card to the video on their YouTube channel up there so you can go take a look where you know you got you get to learn a little bit about me get to learn a little bit about them and you get to hear me ask some particularly difficult questions to someone that is trying to build an affordable belt 3d printer so if you like infinite axes 3d printing get subscribed because that thing's going to be coming like in a month or so and i'm really excited for it but yeah kickstarters i don't know I was on the same train of getting upset at any cubic, and I feel like we also have to get upset at Elegoo here as a community for utilizing Kickstarter kind of against what is considered fair, right? They're coming in with lots of press and they're using it as just a way to give out cheap pre-orders to people. If you can get in on those early birds though, honestly, 600 bucks, if you've got the cash to spend, it, it, it's it's not a bad deal. And when you consider Elegoo being the powerhouse they are, the chances of failure, it's not zero, but it's very, very low. Anyways, guys, let me know down in those comments, what do you feel about this printer, Kickstarter or otherwise? I'd love to have a conversation with you. I'm excited about it. Not too jazzed about Kickstarter, but I recognize in this industry with lots of kind of uh, middle of the ground news, Kickstarter is a great way to build a little bit of hype around your machines. And well, Elegoo tends to do pretty well in sales. So we'll be keeping an eye on this thing. I have a feeling we're going to be getting one of them uh, as soon as possible so we can compare it up against other offerings from not only Elegoo, but other companies as well. So get subscribed if you want to see content just like that. But stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one. Monday, Elegoo shaked the world. Shook? Shaked?
shook, shooken. I don't know. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you like news about Elegoo, you might enjoy the entire series on Elegoo versus Chi2 systems. It's been a bit of a battle and uh, yeah, it's been kind of crazy. Right next to it is gonna be a video explaining all about different types of 3D printing of which resin 3D printing is in there as well. Hope to see you guys down in those comments. Make sure you get subscribed and we'll see you in the next one.